All right, I'm here with Trey Drake, Jamestown High School football star, Jamestown, New York High School football star, and North Dakota State University commit. How are we doing today, Trey? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Your passion for football. How did how did that start? Where where did you where did you get that passion for football, and how did you how did that lead up to where you are now? Yeah. So. Um... I, I've been around sports my entire life. Um, my dad is the athletic director here at Jamestown and our basketball coach um, for the school. And I, I just kind of grew up around athletics as, as soon as I was uh, out the womb. Um, and I, I really developed a passion for basketball and football the most. Um, I, I started playing football since, you know, first, second grade. And I feel like that's kind of when when the passion started. So, um, you know, I, I fell in love with the process and fell in love with the game of football since a uh, complete young age playing like flag football and everything and peewee and oh yeah for sure yep um then what what kind of made uh quarterback stand out because i know i feel like kids growing up these days they don't necessarily you know they let's say you turn someone turns into a star wide receiver they not they're not necessarily playing you know a wide receiver their whole time growing up but what what kind of triggered quarterback for you what kind of made that position stand out to you um, I feel like at a very young age, um, one of the attributes that I developed right away was uh, the leadership ability um, and just the overall um, mindset that a quarterback has. Um, I feel like that the quarterback position fit me re really well. Um, I like to be command, uh, be commander and, you know, a quarterback commands an offense. Um, you're constantly finding ways to improve. And, you know, I, I fell in love with the process, like I said, uh, at that very young age so that's kind of why I, I chose to be a quarterback mm -hmm. and to be a quarterback you got to be you know everyone looks to the quarterback for leadership and everything like that so over these couple of years can you give me like one or two things you kind of leadership wise that you've you've learned how to be a better leader because you know quarterback like I said is you just that yeah so I'd say um overall just like I said the mindset um the uh, uh, being a quarterback, everyone's watching you. The eyes are on you. Um, so you know, just being the thermostat and setting the temperature for the room and setting the temperature for the team, um, has been uh, crucial. Um, I, I see that showing up just here at our high school. So I'd say that's probably the biggest thing is just being a thermostat and knowing that all the guys are looking up at you. Um, you're you're trying to lead a team at the end of the day. So, uh, you have to you have to complete take control of that and do just that. I don't think I've ever heard anyone describe it that way. Where did you, as like a thermostat, turning the temperature up or down? Like, where is that just something your dad has taught you that, or is that is that something? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm very fortunate to have my dad. He he's taught me a lot of things, but um, also also learned that uh, from a football camp I went to uh, when I was when I was a little kid. Um, NFA National Football Academies. Um, now it's like called Quarterback Collective, but um. Yeah, so I, I just learned, you know, the thermostat versus thermometer analogy, and that, that stuck with me since a, since a young age. So I'm just trying to implement that in my everyday life. Gotcha. Um, and then you obviously being from New York, it's not, you know, you, need, you know New York's not you know, Texas or Florida or Georgia, you know, speaking, you know, to, to prospects or college prospects, they're, they're sent into college and whatnot. But you're obviously going to North Dakota State, but being from New York and not, and representing the state as a top uh, prospect, what what does that mean to you? Like, how how do you view yourself compared to these Texas, Florida? Like, you know, is it you view yourself as a kind of an underdog being from New York and everything like that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, there's there's several benefits and negatives of being in New York. Um, personally, from just personal experiences, I believe that New York is an unrecruited uh, place. Um, you know, just from going to camps and um, combines and things like that throughout the state of New York, you know, you run into lots of great athletes where if uh, if they were in uh, different states like Florida and Texas and uh, those examples that they'd be uh, just over or they'd be recruited just as much as those other guys. But, um, you know, as far as positives, I believe one of the positives, too, is just um you know when you when you play in new york you get all sorts of weather you know it's really building you to be mentally strong um and be physically tough um you know we, we've played through rain sleet snow hail um all sorts of things last year we started the season and it was 75 degrees warming sunny and we ended the season our last we put played in the state semifinals we ended the season uh in a complete snow blizzard so you know just I think one of the positives of being in New York has just been uh, mentally, you know, it's been mentally um, preparing you to, you know, be a high caliber athlete. Mm -hmm. 
when you speak of the different weather and stuff, because I know I want to go, I want to ask you now your recruiting process and how you, how you chose to get to North Dakota state. Like what was it? The recruiting process wasn't overwhelming to you or anything. It wasn't, it wasn't too hectic or anything. Can you talk me through what you, your, your recruiting process as a whole and how you uh, chose uh, North Dakota state? Yeah, for sure. So, um, I, I mean, throughout the entire process, um, I guess, I guess you could say it has been a little overwhelming, uh, not, not so much now that I, you know, make commitment, but, um, I guess just like uh, it, it's it's been really you know there's been up and downs throughout the road. Um, ultimately, the the reason that through how I got led to North Dakota State was uh through an assistant coach Mike Peters. Um, he's assistant there and he is from the Buffalo area. So uh, he with his coaching contacts he he was able to find uh, my film. I created pro day throwing script. Um, he gave it to Coach Randy Hedberg, the quarterbacks coach there, and he loved it. Invited me out to camp. Um. And that was just this past summer. You know, I had probably 15 to 20 camp dates lined up uh, that I was going. I was going all over the place at junior junior day visits and everything. Um, and uh, ultimately got led to North Coast State. Um, you know, we went through a whirlwind trying to get out there. Um, me and my dad flew out there, um, had an amazing camp, um, talked to all the coaches, met all the coaches. And then uh, probably later, a uh, week or so after, came back home and, Coach Ens also offered me a full scholarship. Um, and then two days after, you know, I committed on the spot right away. Um, and let, I guess kind of building off that too, I just knew that NDSU, that it was a place um, like no other. You know, I've, I've been to many colleges, many campuses, many universities and football programs uh, throughout the years of just visits and stuff like that that I touched on. And their culture was like no other. Um, so, I mean, ultimately that's kind of what it was and their core principles that they hold. Um, was was the biggest thing that stood out to me and I mean obviously their their sustained success uh, was a huge part and uh, playing the playing the role too um, and it just speaks for itself and that's that's something that I 100% want to be a part of mm -hmm. and I I, th I think it goes I think I gotta ask this I mean you have you have Carson Wentz you got Trey Lance you got you know Christian Watts who just got drafted by Green Bay do you be can I'm not sure do you feel your do you, can you view yourself or see yourself as like the next? North, I'm gonna just go out and say it, North Dakota State star to come out of there. Because, or are you, what's your mindset? I guess to you know, if you don't want to say call yourself a star because you know you know you're not even at college level yet. But can you can you view yourself or put yourself in the shoes yet? Can you t is that a right way to say it like that? Or? Yeah, 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 no doubt. Um, I mean, I know the expectations that come from being a Bison football player and especially a quarterback at NDSU. Um, you know, I don't shy away from that at all. I kind of embrace and look forward to that. But at the same time, I realize, like I said, uh, the expectations and how high of a standard they hold their players to. Um, and I really look forward to being a part of the success and everything that NDSU is building up um, for hopes of a high future there, for sure. Um, how are how are you viewing this season? Like, uh, is it kind of a bittersweet uh, feeling for you, knowing it's like your last high school season or anything? Or what's what's what has been your mindset this whole season or heading into this season? Yeah, I guess you could say bittersweet. Um, you know, I've I've I grew up in Jamestown. Um, I was raised here, and you know, it's been I've been around the athletic programs and the football field for as like I said, as long as I can remember. Um. Uh, and, you know, like I said, it is it is kind of bittersweet uh, knowing that you're leaving next year. But at the same time, it's kind of a relief um, going into this year. I think it was awesome to just uh, know where I was going and fully committed and having a spot um, place to stay. Um, I feel like that kind of lifted a, a weight off my shoulders going my senior year because I was kind of feeling like, all right, you know, I have to have perfect performances every game and try everything I can to earn to earn offers and stuff like that. But now I just feel like there's a weight lift off my shoulder and can't wait to uh, finish out the season and then play at NDSU next year. Sounds exciting. Um, got two more questions for you and then we'll wrap up here because I know you got a big game tonight. Uh, football overall, what does that mean to you? I kind of want, I, I always ask this of, of um, some football players I always talk to because I feel like everyone has their different feelings and thoughts about, you know, the sport that they play and the, that they love so much. But just what you, what is your feeling on football overall? What does that what does the sport mean to you? Yeah, I mean, just to keep it short, football means everything to me, and I, I I love the game of football. You know, it's been throughout the years, it's pretty much been like my entire life. You know, I, I've dedicated my life to this, and like I mean, like all the high school players say, there's there's nothing like Friday Night Lights. 
Um, but the process and the grind that it took to get here, um, just looking back at it is, is, uh, extremely, extremely, uh, well to see, you know, um, just the process of getting better and everything that the process has entailed is, uh, one of the biggest things that I took out of it. You know, there's, there's no, no quite joy like it. Gotcha. Last question I got for you is when you get up to, when you get up to, uh, North Dakota state, what? What do you want fans to know? What's like the number one thing you want fans to know about you or could you expect from you on the football field or off the field too? I guess that can kind of go um, of what I said last is just, you know, I understand the expect expectations, you know, that they hold, that they hold themselves to. Uh, and I, I definitely don't shy away from it at all. In fact, I, you know, embrace the process and I completely look forward to it. Um, and I can continue to work extremely hard. Um, to be successful at the next level. Um, can't wait to finish up here and uh, get on the road to NDSU and be uh, starting there in the, in the summer actually. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay. Sounds good. Well, thanks Fray, for joining us. I appreciate your time and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Thank you so much for having me. It means a lot. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our other videos and don't forget to smack that subscribe button down below while you're at it. Also for more great and original content, head right over to bbmsports.com.